To enable you to make sales on your products through FBA without stocking out, you need to send the right amount of stock up to Amazon. Amazon has some tools to help with this. They can be accessed from inventory, inventory planning. There's a number of options up the top. On this dashboard, you will see a summary of all the different measures. The different boxes on the dashboard will link through to the tabs at the top. The performance tab shows a snapshot of the performance of the account in terms of excess inventory, the sell through and the stranded inventory. Excess inventory is Amazon's estimate of the amount of extra inventory you have above what you need. FBA sell through is the ratio of number of units sold over the number of units you have in a fulfillment center. It is a measure of how well you've done in terms of sending up stock to Amazon. If your sell through rate was only 10%, you would have far too much stock in the Amazon warehouse and it would be costing you a lot of money in storage. However, if your sell through rate was 95%, you would have sent up approximately the amount of inventory you needed. Stranded inventory percentage is the percentage of stock which is in the Amazon warehouse which cannot be sold. Restock inventory shows a list of the SKUs you have in FBA, days of supply you have, and the recommended replenishment quantity. Amazon works out the recommended replenishment quantity based on your sales and also the information you send them about your lead times and your supplier lead times. Clicking download report will download a report of restock recommendations for all the marketplaces in which you have FBA stock listed. In this report, you have the SKU details, the country, the performance of the SKU, and here in column W, the recommended replenishment quantity and the recommended ship date. This information is shown for all the countries where you hold stock. So here there's the UK, further down there's Germany, and further down still there is Italy. To update the information for a SKU, you need to click on Customize SKU Settings and generate the report, change the details, and then upload the report again. The inventory product settings will have each SKU in each country in which it is listed. So this SKU here, 9081, is listed in five different countries, so it has five entries. For each SKU, you'll enter the supplier lead time, that is the number of weeks the supplier will take to deliver your products, the pack size, here called the case pack, the minimum order, which you can order from your supplier, the reorder frequency, so that is how frequently you put in orders with your supplier, the seller lead time, so that is, if you're having the product delivered to your facility, how many weeks you will take to deliver it. The replenishment frequency, that is how frequently you would replenish the Amazon stock from your facility. And then the supply chain settings. There are three different supply chain options. Setting one is where the supplier ships directly to Amazon. This means that the model will then only use the supplier lead time when calculating how much product to ship. Number two is when the supplier ships the inventory to your warehouse and then you ship it to Amazon, in which case the total lead time will be the supplier and the seller lead time. The third option is if you are the supplier of this product and you ship the inventory directly from your facility, in this case only the seller lead time will be used. So Amazon will take this information on the lead times and the minimum order quantities to calculate how much it thinks you should replenish. In order to update this information in Amazon, you need to save this sheet as a tab delimited text file and then upload the file again on the inventory product settings page. The information you've uploaded for each product can be seen from the manage inventory page if you click on the SKU. Here for this LeMay's product, we can see details of the SKU sales, the pricing, details on the inventory performance, and down here we'll have the supplier lead time as uploaded and the reorder frequency, and also details of inbound shipping. Returning to the tab to the top, the Manage Excess Inventory tab shows what Amazon estimates to be the excess inventory you're holding in its fulfillment houses. This is inventory which it does not think you are going to sell before the next time you replenish your stock. Amazon will recommend that you remove this stock. The inventory age will show a list of your SKUs and also the amount of time that they have been in storage. Remember, if something has been in storage for more than 365 days, it will have the long-term storage fee applied, which is punitive, and you should get your products removed before this kicks in. Stranded inventory is where you have inventory which is either unsellable or is in the warehouse and does not have a SKU, so it is not currently selling. If you have stranded inventory account, you should try and get it returned or destroy it, as it is currently not selling, but it's costing you storage fees. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.